What is up guys? Welcome! I am finally, finally doing this video. I'm gonna be showing you the setup I've been using for the past, like, year or so. Let's get straight into it. So, here we have it. A very humble abode. All my posters up on the wall here, as seen on stream. I got my keyboard right here, which, admittedly, I do not play anywhere near enough. And this is actually a light switch. So, I have bought these amazing Philip Hue light bulbs, which I definitely would recommend. It's just a little remote, you can change the brightness with this. So as you can see, it's getting a bit darker in here. Put it up or turn them off completely if you would like. And this right here, okay, we got a lot going on here. Let's just go through each of these components individually. So as you can see, I have a dual monitor set up. I would love to get a triple monitor set up, but that's not happening for a while. This right here is an Acer Predator, don't know which model number, but it goes up to 165 hertz refresh rate, which is pretty, pretty nice. Admittedly, I don't go up to 165 of, as often as I should. And this is just a side monitor where I have chats normally. What else do we have? We have the Logitech, I believe this is a C920. Pretty, pretty nifty webcam, I like it. And here is my microphone, which is the Rode NT1A, I believe it is called. All this stuff will be in the description, so if I mispronounce anything, then it will be in the description for you to look at. This is a very, very cheap um, microphone stand that I decided to get. It's just... I mean, I'm looking to maybe upgrade it in the future, but for now, it gets the job done. I like to have my microphone here. Normally I would have it close, like right here, but the only issue is that it sort of gets in the way of the gaming monitor when I'm trying to play. So I think just having it in between the two monitors here is perfect for me because I look at chat on this monitor as well, so it helps that the microphone's sort of just there, right as I'm speaking to chat, which is normally like right there. So you're probably wondering what this massive thing right here is. So this is my mixing board, which I decided to get fairly recently. It's a MG10XU Yamaha mixing board. So the main thing I use this for, I just got my microphone actually going into that section and I just use it to make the microphone sound as good as it can, basically. This makes the microphone sound amazing, to be honest. And then on this side here, we've got all of the different effects that I can use. I use them fairly often, and they are pretty dang. What else is there? So here is my keyboard as well, the beautiful Corsair. It's a uh, cherry, Cherry switches, it's a silent mechanical keyboard. I know a lot of people have these now, but it's it's a really, really nice keyboard. And I like the sort of, wait, where are my effects? Normally, <laughs> that's like pulsating colors, but I guess, guess not today. But um, yeah, it's a great keyboard. Before I used to have this really, really loud mechanical keyboard and it just sort of annoyed me because you could hear it really clearly on stream and I just wanted to get rid of that. So the silent one's great for me. We also have here the Elgato Stream Deck, which has surprisingly useful uses. Um, so for instance, I'm about to stream soon. I can just go into setup and none of my stream programs are open, but I can click on OBS click on Streamlabs chatbot and then all of the stuff will slowly start to open which is very useful considering most of the time I have like 10 or 15 minutes to start up stream. You can also open up tabs for different websites like my Twitch dashboard which will instantly just pop up like that. So it does have its uses. I think one of the most useful things actually is going into your scenes and then for instance, when I'm playing a single player game, I like to have the mini overlay on. And so let's let's see, we got OBS here. So I'm able to just, at the click of this button, switch my overlay from being this fairly convoluted to a very minimalistic style overlay. It's very useful and it's it just saves you having to move your mouse from whatever you're doing at the time over to there when you can just do it all here. And yeah, it's great. It does have some amazing uses and it definitely helped me with my streaming career. 
as you can see here, these, these are just some of the PS4 games which I like to leave out, the ones that we're currently playing through Spider-Man, for example, great, great game. Um, this is also another camera, I use this, this is my action camera, I use this for vlogs or underwater stuff, and yeah, I've used it a couple of times, it's really, really good, much cheaper than a GoPro, it's a, uh, what is it, the Xiaomi Yi, yeah, Xiaomi Yi, it's a great camera, would recommend. And here is my mouse. This is a Naos 7000, I think, Mionix. I, I can't remember exactly what it's called. It will be in the description. It's a fantastic mouse for me because my hand is fairly large. Well, not large, it's just I've got really lanky fingers, so it's really useful. I don't have to rest my palm on the, on the desktop. It can just be levitated slightly and I get a nice comfortable grip. Really, really comfortable. If you have big hands, I would recommend it. And also, this is like a world map mouse, mouse pad. It's really, really great. I used to have a, a tiny one and I would always run off it, but now I can just move the mouse all over the place, all over the world. It's fantastic. We have some speakers here as well, which admittedly I do not have hooked up to my current setup because everything is going through my mixing board and I don't have the right wires to get them into here. That's something which I will do in the future. But let's get to the main event. Here we have my PC, custom made. So I built it with the help of some uni friends. Theo, thank you very much. Um, so let's talk about the specs. As you can see, we've got a massive calling fan in here. Let's talk about the case first. This is a Sama Arc case. Great case. Um, humongous, as you can see, like for perspective, my big hands. It's a full, full sized desktop. It's not mid, it's a full tower. So it's got lots of room. Like I've got all this room that isn't even being used, but it can be used for extra hard drives and all that good stuff. So we have, let's talk about the graphics card. This is a 1080 Ti, love it. It's not let me down so far. It's incredible to be honest. Obviously, Nvidia just revealed their new 2000 range, but this graphics card is still incredible. And I think surely it will drop in price because of the new range. Um, cable management is okay, okay. I'm not amazing at cable management, admittedly, but hey, this is a Be Quiet fan as well. Be Quiet, I can't remember exactly the number, but yeah, that's, it's pretty quiet, as you can hear. It's not really making that much sound. It does get slightly loud, but it's hardly noticeable. Most of the time I have that fan on when it's like too hot and that makes way more noise. Um, also, my, CPU, which you cannot see, it's completely hidden under there. It's a 7700K, Intel 7700K. We got 64 gigabytes of RAM, which you can just see all of the different RAM sticks there, which is great. Not 64, 32. 64 is overkill, Jesus. Okay, no, it's 32 gigabytes, my bad. What else? Okay, these are my headphones as well. These are great headphones. The Sennheiser, I can't remember which model number, but they are super comfortable. When I first started, I was using the Sony MDR-1000X headphones, which were great noise cancelling and everything, but they would just completely ruin my ears because they were too tight. These headphones are unbelievably comfortable. I can wear them for hours on end and still feel like there's nothing on my face, so... It's great face slash head. Okay, and some minor things. I've got a HDMI switch, so this is very useful for if I am wanting to switch between the PS4 or the Switch, which I have over here, the Nintendo Switch, which I sometimes stream from. It just saves me having to move cables around, so that goes into... There's a capture card at the back of my desktop, the HD60 Pro Elgato. It's great. And here, I guess this is like the, well, apart from my laptop, here's my laptop. I use my laptop every now and then, mainly for university work, but it will be used, I guess. <laughs> I like to use it as a second video editing thing so I can video edit like two videos at once. And finally we have Alexa, change the lights to red in the room. 
She's not listening to me because she likes to not listen. What is what is going on? Okay, oh, okay. She likes to not listen to me every now and then, but she is actually very useful. I've got her integrated with the lights mainly, so I can be like Alexa, turn on um, Arctic Aurora in bedroom. Please, please. Oh, come on! I, we we practice this. Come on, Alexa. Turn on Arctic Aurora in bedroom. Okay. There we go. So she can change the lights. Now we got a bit more of a blue hue. I like to change the lights depending on the game I'm playing. So for example, actually you can see it here, Subnautica in the background. We were playing that recently. Great game. I like to have it like all blue in the background, fix with it, uh, fit with it. Or I could say Alexa. Turn on dirty in bedroom. That failed. Um, Alexa, turn on dirty scene in bedroom. Please. Oh my God, she's not listening to me. Alexa, turn on dirty in bedroom. Okay. There we go. So now we've got Journey here. We can get more of a brownish slash yellow tint to the room. It's, it's really useful and it helps just to immerse even more. In the future, I'm hoping to get some things where if someone follows or subscribes then the lights will flash and stuff and I use Alexa for timers, I use her for choosing random numbers when we're choosing different games to play so it's great, she's actually very useful when she listens. Lastly, I completely forgot about this but I bought myself a Elgato green screen which admittedly I like never use which is a shame but this cover comes off like that and then you can raise this like this and get a good bit of green screenage when it fits around the freaking keyboard there we go get a bit of green screenage going on it is quite large and actually my room is not even really big enough to fit this whole thing here but yes I've used it mainly for thumbnails when I'm doing YouTube thumbnails but apart from that I can't actually really use it practically for streaming unfortunately main reason why is because right here is my like drawer cupboard which is blocking part of the green screen so when I'm using it on OBS, for example, I mean, you can even see here, I can move the camera right now, obviously, so that the camera's here and then the green screen is directly behind me, but that is always there. I could crop it out, but then if I moved my arm to like over here, then my arm would get cut off. So I don't know. You can see some of the pictures back here, actually, just like some of the things I do. And obviously it doesn't cover up the whole thing, but it can make cropping around my face a lot quicker. So yeah, that's about the gist of it. That's our main stuff that we have going on in the room and the PS4 is down there, PS3 is down there, but I don't really use the PS3 often, but there's a PS4. And yeah, so that's about it. I'm so sorry it took long enough for me to make this video, but yeah, that's the streaming setup we've been using. I'm not gonna be using it, well, the layout won't be exactly the same because I'm moving to university in about a week's time. But that is and has been what we've been using. So thank you very much for taking a peek into my streaming, little streaming world. I hope you enjoyed the video and please do subscribe to the channel if it's your first time here. We do playthroughs, we do reviews, we do lots of highlights, that sort of stuff. And yeah, I hope you enjoy your stay. And until the next video, this is Gold Carrot signing out. Peace.